Hey, this is Raz Grease 2006 or Alex Rothamel on Facebook, and we're going to do a lube test real quick. Um, I tried to do this before already, and I had an instrument failure, restrictor plates, and um, we fixed that. I'm not going to wash the bolt in soap because I'm still using the same lube, Dow 33 medium, but I will start over with some brand new o rings, which um, be sure to look at the other video about this. I'll post it somewhere explaining why we went with mil spec 70 barometer o rings. But here they are. I'm going to put them on real quick and then we'll, we'll get started. So uh, I'm not going to be talking much while I'm putting these on. And uh, the last video that I tried to do was 26 minutes long. And my cat is messing with my testing apparatus right now. Sorry. Yeah, I have the, uh, the camera taped to a Kohl's box. And it's not far away enough for the uh, camera to see everything. So it's like balancing precariously on a desk chair. And my cat is on that desk chair right now. That's right. Uh, all right. Back in me. Okay. Yes, go look at the laser. Laser's over there. All right. All right. Let me think. Trying to hurry, trying to hurry. 15. Um, off camera, I used that toilet paper to clean off the bolt as best as I could. Sorry, another cat. Come on, there's a the laser, it's on the floor. Go away. There's just something about high up leather things that cats want to be a part of. So, o rings are on that, o rings are on this. And we need an O17 in the top hat. No, don't you even come close. There's no. Darn it. It's over there. God damn it. Fucking cats. Uh, Alright. Are you gonna do it again? It's still rolling. But people gonna hear you. Curse it. The kitties. Well, I didn't hurt them, so. I know. Whatever. I think we should cut that part. <laughs> yeah, but then people be like, you're faking the video. <laughs> no. Go. There's the laser. It's over here. There's All right, the... I'm going to keep them in the bedroom. Come on. All right, cool. Kitties! Come here. Come here, come here. Yeah, people online are going to be like, Raz Grease has four cats. He's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Come on. I think Bibi won't be a problem. Come here. All right. No fourteen. Um, inner top hat.
Okay, so lubrication. Try to do it exactly the same every time. A clear coat on the bolt touching on the, the friction critical surfaces. A clear coat on the o rings themselves. And here I'm, I'm making them wet and I'm trying not to let any color of the grease show. There's a hole in it right here, which gets everywhere. And there. Here. against the uh, bolt tail here, so I'm just going to hit it again. Okay, so... Start this off at 40 LPR PSI. Trust me, it won't work before that. And I, I've posted a couple of times, but if there could be a beep, like if you could hold the button down and go dee dee dee, that would be awesome. But um, so. I don't know if the camera can see or not. I'm going to hold it here for about 10 whole seconds. Um, the dwell is currently 12, and the ABS is off, and it's semi-automatic. So there's no funny business. Okay. <clears throat> 680 boomstick. Prior off-camera testing has shown that a full dumped shot will move, and I have it marked with lines, from this rung to here. And these lines are kind of faded, but I can still see them. And then <clears throat> our sound meter. will show... 67 decibels or greater when a fully dumped shot like when the air fully goes oh uh, one other thing uh, should be set to 145 psi on this gauge and then we'll just uh, confirm that um, the transducers are reading 144 and 39 last I looked at them. So, and then lastly, we put this hopper with this rag in it in here so we're hearing from here and not blow blow by, blow back, whatever you want to call it. 
Okay, so here we go. And eyes are off. Okay, um, moved on the second one, but that's that was not a full cycle. So uh, we're gonna I'm gonna go in two psi increments. until we get around and then I'll go plus or minus one until we find it. So that is 41 now in the transducer. The transducer kind of goes around a bit. But um, that's not far enough. That's not loud enough. On to the next. It seems the transducer reading will change depending on whether you have a bolt in or whether you have a pressure tester in. Pressure tester is basically saying 45. Transducer agrees at 45. Now with the bolt, it's Okay, 44, so we're back on track. Um, not far enough. Not loud enough. So we're just going to... And uh, we're currently at 44 on the transducer right now. Now it says 46. Sixty-four point one decibels. Not far enough. Okay. Oh, now it says 65.1 because I bumped it. But next reset. Sixty eight point five decibels, but not far enough to reset that sixty four point three, not far enough, so uh, just a fluke. Forty nine at the line, max reset. That's sixty seven point oh, and just a smidge not far enough. So, what we're going to do is we're going to count to fifteen whole seconds. Ten one thousand, eleven one thousand, twelve one thousand, thirteen one thousand, fourteen one thousand, fifteen one thousand. Sixty-four point seven. That would have failed. So we're going to go up 
a bit more. Now we're getting close. We're going to do one PSI increment. And I'm going to do that on the gauge because it, the gauge is instantaneous, shows you what your pressure change is, whereas the pulling rate on the transducers is not instant. Okay, um, gauge says about 49, transducer says 48. Once again, we've, we've got some fluctuation here. So I'm going to put this bad boy right at 50 on the gauge. And gauge says 50, transducer says 50. After cycling it around a little bit, gauge says 49, transducer says 49. So I'll just put that up a smidge. All right, and gauge says 50, transducer says 50 again. And we're holding that. So. Reset 66.8, and it went far enough. 66.8 is close enough to 67 that we'll do the 15 seconds. Sixty-four point four, not far enough. And if you're wondering why I'm doing fifteen seconds, is because on most paint gun markers, um, you'll see their ABS settings is around fifteen to twenty seconds. Um, the longer an O-ring stays sealed against a surface, it, it creates this uh, phenomena called stiction. And it just becomes more and more stuck to it. You can read about it, Google it, but it's it's there, and that's why. So um, gauges in. All right, I moved it a smidge. I had a better gauge on the way, but. It didn't show up. Well, it just showed up, but it didn't work very well. So, um, transducer says 51. Gauge says about that. Um, shooting it a bit puts it back down to 50. So, uh, All right, gauge says about 51, transducer says about 51, holding after shooting. So, max reset. Make it line up perfect. Okay. 67.9. Far enough. So, X reset. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten. Nope. Didn't go quite far enough. Sixty-four point five. We're almost there.
Transducer says 52. Gauge more or less agrees. Bolt. Nice reset. Put this back. And 66.8. Far enough, so we're going to count to 15 seconds. And 62.6, almost far enough, but you, know, you can hear it. It's not quite there. So we'll go for 54. Sorry, 53, not 54. After several cycles, um, between 53 and 54, kind of fluctuating. So we'll just try it here, we'll see if it works. And if we need to go back, we will. Seven point five far enough. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. Sixty-two and a half. Not a full cycle. It seems that you can you can get there and think you're good, but the difference is letting it sit and you, you run into it. Granted, it's taking more time to, to to check the one psi increments. And right now, you know, we're at fifty-three psi. All right, um, transducer says 54, gauge says about 54, cycled a few times. Count a little bit extra on that one, of course. 67. Damn it, did I not reset that? All right. I don't think I reset that. I'm sorry. So we're just going to do it again. It does too.
15. 64.3. Not, no. I mean, it's past the line. Doesn't seem like it's quite there on the sound. My guess is that would have been about a, a 260 shot. So I think we're going to go one more PSI on this. Because uh, as you got, you're probably noticing a pattern now. The first ones are always hitting that 67 decibel setting that I was telling you about. So. Okay. Fifty five on the transducer, fifty five on the gauge, fifty four on the transducer. Sure. So maybe we'll just give this a okay, now it's fifty five. We'll just uh, leave it there. And I'm wasting more air going at the bottom than I am shooting. Okay. Hopefully this is it. Sixty-eight decibels. Far enough. Fifteen. Sixty-four. Not that white. I'm going to chrono off screen just for a second. I'm going to leave the camera roll and you'll be able to hear everything that I'm doing. And I'm just going to make sure that it's not going to put a 280 shot out right now. Sorry. No, I'm not done. Okay, so uh, that one was 283. I don't know if the camera can see that or not. And we're waiting about 15 seconds. And I need this back. Two sixty-nine. So, still got a little bit of ways to go. I think we're almost there. See what that's telling me is that the bolt is short cycling, just slightly. And it sits for that long. So, but my guess is we're, we're one or two PSI away from being there. Okay. Uh, okay. 
squeegee. Where'd my squeegee go? Um, here it is. Okay. So, put this back, put our gauge in, and I don't have enough hands to be showing you where I'm shooting, and I'm shooting into a litter box, so hey, send me some more R&D funding, and you'll get better videos, but this, this is what we got, no one else is doing this. So we're going to put this a smidge over 55, and that says 57, yeah, it's probably right. See, and that says 55 on that, and that gauge agree. Hmm. Oh, now it says 56. Now let's see what it says. 56. Yeah, they agree. That's 56. All right. So, I'm sure you're going to notice a pattern on this first one. It's going to work fine. The next reset. Oh, oh, I had the hopper on. Pee pee, go. Sorry, my cat. Oh shit, where did I put that? Okay, and we're back. That's reset. That's reset. 66.8. Far enough. All right, so 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, whoops, so 67, far enough, but I didn't reset this, so we're just going to do it again. Sixty-two and a half over there. Not far enough. Do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's sixty-two point seven. Nope. this to 57 psi
that's kind of floating between 57 and 58. Okay, there it is. There's 68.9, and sixty two point six. That's 58 right there. Still in. Two point four. So let's go up another one. Fifty nine on the transducer, actually sixty on the transducer now. Ah, uh, well, currently reading fifty nine. Sixty nine point three, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, sixty four point seven. So almost there. Let's try one more time. Sixty four point seven again. So I'm probably going to have to split this video up in two. Fifty nine. 
Transducers between 59 and 60. Gauge says 60. Positive. Mm. Now the transducer floated up to 60. We're going to leave it there for now. Something changed. It's uh, there it goes. That's why. No, it's a quieter over here. You know, I, I think I was. Holding the gun right here. And there we go, 66.7. And 1,000, 2,1,000, 3,1,000, 66.4. I think that's it. I think. at 60 PSI, that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a couple more paintballs and I'm gonna shoot over the chrono again. But this time I'm gonna shoot, like just cycle it, wait 15 seconds, then measure it, and we'll see what we get. And I'm gonna leave the camera recording so you can hear everything I'm doing. chair out of the way. So, <clears throat> counted 15 seconds, it gave a reading of 287. So as far as our test parameter goes, um, Dow 33 medium, um, I'm going to splice this to the beginning of the video, but so Dow 33 medium using military specification S28775 on this platform requires 60 LPR PSI on this gauge and the transducer to um, fully cycle 
and then wait 15 seconds and fully cycle as measured over chronograph last, a sound meter first, and a rudimentary squeegee uh, stick measurement, which we go from this line and it goes poof to this line. So um, yeah, Dow 33 is 60 LPR PSI, Trev Dwell. Thanks if you watch this whole thing.